back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Novigrad Hall. You surprised? They tried to dance with a witcher. Where'd he come from, anyway? Well, have some. You so curious? as much as life. You flee to Maria too. You don't look well. Ooh. Wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. 
Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No. Just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Thanks. So long. of a garcane or a flutter. Seems like it had lost some strength, was sneaking along the shoreline. I think I'm catching something. human. Monster was wounded. Wouldn't be so pale if you ate onions and oil. Oh. End here. Ought to look for prints on the other side. It's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? You're a fierce one, but you fairness in your eyes. Ah!
Rat corpses. Not a drop of blood left in him. Gotta be an Ekimara. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked the city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Keridin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Keridin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Keridin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them!
This guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadins disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. You crazy? What the hell are you doing? I can explain everything. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah, see you later. Storm, damn it. All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, you're fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. As far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. 
basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vien. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vien. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> Why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me. Sleaze, Hammond and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Lees went to Tresigal, Hammond Skelliger, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. Well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. This, Salise. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent. Whores suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Celise always did have horrible taste. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Celise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... Do whatever you think's right, Lambert. Not here to preach morals. <laughs> Do what you think is right? Only one thing worse than cold-blooded murder. Hypocrisy. Informers, racist snitches! Vienne, bloody hell, what is it? They've come for me, Varen! I told you someone would! Sooner or later! Nessa tear! Shit.
You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige, try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Tomorrow, what you can buy today. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there?
So long. Any need What a freak. Well, well, look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How can I be of service? You play Gwent, don't you? Oh, sure. Because I'm a dwarf. Is that it? Do you also believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mine shaft in my cellar? So you play or not? Aye, I play. So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not?
Try some shoddier players, will ye? Once you've learned a few tricks, come back for a rematch. Destroyed this one too. Not so fast, Roach. Come on now. <sighs> the 
Let's go! Ghouls. And where there's ghouls, there's usually corpses. Run, Roach. Come on. You the ones destroying shrines all over Valen? What's that got to do with you? What's it got to do with you? We are the Heralds of Lightning. Heavy drops from leaden clouds. Unleashed, the Lightning's name shall be Overman. Stop this. End it. We shall not heed a stooge who goes about on the clergy's leash. Religion is the opiate of the masses. The gods are dead. Thus speaks Master Friedrich of Oxenfurt. Common folk fear religion and the priests, not the gods. And this fear enslaves us in fetters of ignorance. We must forge a new morality, or rid ourselves of morality altogether. Amusing as this little show is, I'm getting bored. Leave, and don't come back. Or what? Or I'll tell on you to the headmistress. Repression! Attack the system's lackey! Given me no choice. It could be quite profitable. Damn, you're ugly.
Oh God, a reaper's come for me. Where do you think you're going? What's he doing here? There must be order. This baronet's love lets villa. Shouldn't interest you. The baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette. An Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired to chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's in the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? 
Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? The Grey Mare looks nimble. Besides, knew a man named Kai here once. I'll go with her. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. I'm Molly, my lord. Me? Geralt. Geralt! That Geralt! The one dandy! 
Dandelions rescued time and time That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But well, I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I asked Dandelion when we'd visit her, he'd grow all quiet, and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. That's wonderful! Thanks! And good luck to you on your search. Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. The 
this morning. My printer came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happened in some house. Your Greta's got the imagination of a drunk troubadour. Oh, that really she never lies off. about serious matters. Some stallkeeper told her the corpses were shreds. A stallkeeper. Another trustworthy source. Everyone in Novigrad wants others to listen. Don't be shy now. Looking doesn't cost a thing. There's plenty to behold. This is a collection of... How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas's will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. All right, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. Why, if I knew, you could hardly expect me to sell them. Where did Aramus live? At a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now, as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have.
Farewell. Statue of a man. It wasn't carved or produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Is there any hard on the eyes? to the honourable gentleman. Razors, scissors, knives, ground to sharpness mere moments ago. Need a trim. Think you can manage? So long. Eating vagrants from Velen? Why does the temple guard man the gates at all? 